so I'll put this back here. Um, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to open up um, Left 4 Dead 2 Authoring Tools. Go to Workshop Manager, double click, and it'll open up this. You probably won't have any um, anything in here. I have a few mods I made. Um, so now we have that open. Um, and before we can actually get up there, we're going to need to convert this to a, uh, a .vpk. And it's really simple. If you have the .vpk.exe shortcut on your desktop, all you do, click, drag it right over, and let go. Does It does a quick little processing right there. And then it makes a .vpk file named exactly after the folder that you created. Um, if you had, if you have permission issues, like it'll say you don't have permission to do this or whatever, you might have to um, like run this or run as administrator first uh, or change the permissions um, in the actual properties. Um, but other than that, you should get the, the .vpk. So now we actually have um, a VPK working. Now we can upload it to Steam Workshop. Um, what you're going to do is click this publish new add-on. It's the plus button. And you're going to put in pretty much the same information from the add-on folder that you made, or the add-on.txt. I'm literally just going to paste this information into here, title. Pages ain't shit. Description. Plays bitch shit. But Dr. J. Ben Folds version for end credits music. Copy. Cool. And then preview image, I, I always recommend putting a preview image because it just makes it look like it's worthwhile downloading. So I didn't think about this. Uh, maybe I can grab like a thumbnail or something. Or maybe I could grab a picture of Dr. Dre. Uh, let's do Dr. Dre. Give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do um, get a preview image really quick. Okay, so I changed my mind completely. Uh, I did some um, searching online. I, I found this. I just thought it was a lot more funny. Um, and it's it's just Gandhi because lols, right? All right, so now you got your preview image. Um, now you're going to actually browse for the VPK itself. And you have that located on your desktop. Or at least you should. Look for the right one. And go ahead and open. Um Something to keep in mind, um, if your file is over 200 megabytes, um, Steam is not going to be able to upload it. Um, I've, I've already tried that once, and it just kept trying to upload forever indefinitely and never actually did. So make sure that your file is under 200 megabytes. If, it, if it's not, and it kind of um, some of the files are essential to the mod, what you want to do is, is split the VPKs into smart, smaller parts. Um, essentially what you do is you make, say, like a folder for, uh, you know, this music, and then you make a separate folder for all this other sounds that has a lot of, um, like, has a lot of data, um, and you'll have to upload them uh, individually. But, um, you know, that's, that's something that you'll have, to, you'll have to worry about. But as long as it's under 200 megabytes, you'll be fine. Uh, visibility, I always recommend that you set it to um, private, um, at least your first time, just to make sure that you can um, go into the game and confirm that it works to your liking before you actually um, go ahead and upload it. So I'll go ahead and set mine to private. And the category, this helps the um, Steam users to actually find your mod. Um, so ours is sounds. Um, anything specific? It doesn't look like it. It's kind of like the only field that this really applies to. So we'll just leave it, well maybe campaigns. No, I'll leave it off. Just say sounds. And then um, accept the uh, terms of Steam Workshop um, contribution agreement. You can view the agreement, which is always a good idea. But I'm not. <laughs> And then go ahead and select upload. Um, depending on how big your VPK is, it shouldn't take very long at all for it to finish uploading. 
Okay, um, if you're not signed into Steam or you don't have the client currently up, it might just give you this little uh, error thing, which is fine. Um, but in order to really confirm that it uploaded successfully, just go to the the publish add-on um, or workshop manager and it'll say success. The add-on has been uploaded to Steam Workshop. And you just click OK. Retrieving files with Steam Cloud. And now you should have at least one um, that is relevant to your mod. So here it is, bitches ain't shit. Um, that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and we'll need to go into our Steam client. Go to library, games. And what you'll need to do for your add-on to actually work is you'll need to subscribe to it on Steam Workshop. So go to your game, Left 4 Dead 2. Browse the workshop, and let's see. You want to, you can click your workshop files. It'll find all the files that you uploaded, um, and here it is. And it'll say it's hidden because you have it set to private as of right now. And what you want to do is go ahead and hit the subscribe button to make sure that it actually loads the mod or the uh, add-on when you load up your game. So now you can actually go into your game and uh, test to see if the mod works. And we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so as soon as you load up the game, um, you, what you can also do to double check that your mod actually loaded is go to add-ons. Um, let's see, what is this? Oh, it's, it'll, you'll get this message if you have some add-ons that are conflicting. I'm gonna ignore it because I know exactly why it's conflicting. Um, and you want to look for your mod. Let's see. Bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't... Oh, look. Oh, look. Wait, it's uh, conflicting something else. Oh, that's right. I know why. Let me fix that really quick. Music. This one. And credits. Yes. So, now that I fixed that, um you uh it'll be in white so keep that in mind if your mod that you just uploaded shows up in red um there's a conflicting file so go ahead and make sure that that's all good i have a shitload of add-ons but other than that everything looks okay yeah these aren't very important so i'm gonna go ahead and click done um also when you load it up it, it will have like a little progress bar while your add-ons are loading um, <clears throat> and after that, you go ahead and just load up a game. And we're going to go ahead and test to see if this uh, end credits music works the way we want it. What the fuck? That was a weird ending, but the song obviously works. Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Lick on these nuts and suck the dick. Let's get the fuck out after you're done and I hops in my ride yeah, to so make a quick run I used to know looks like the song works just fine um I, I think maybe I shouldn't have cut out that little bit of dead air at the beginning because it kind of went into um it can't it went straight into the song and it kind of sounded a little awkward I think it might be better if um, there was some dead air there so I might go back and just um, um, add some a little bit of silence before the beginning all right, um, so I'm just gonna fix this in Audacity really quick and um, add some silence. All right, so I just went ahead and fixed it. Um, let me go ahead and export it out back into, let's see, this, I wanna make sure this is the one on my desktop. So yeah, the this one from my desktop, music, I learn live. This wave you want to save as, and you do want to replace it because you're making a change to the file. You say just yes, re export it, and now it should sound just a little bit different. Oh no, so now it should have a little bit of air at the front. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I could, I could try to test it in game again, but um, I really don't think that's that's necessary. But what I'll go ahead and uh, show you while I'm at this uh, right now is um, 
how do you update your VPK to your new, um, the changes that you made. So it's like a one version 1.1 or version 1.0 since you're still actually in beta on Steam. So um, what you want to do is now that you cha made the changes to your folder, um, simply, um, well, you still have your VPK over here. But all you want to do is uh, do the same thing you did before. Just drag the folder right over vpk.exe, the shortcut on your desktop. Let go. It'll process it, and it automatically updates it. Um, I had it here, but it updated it and moved it to the n most available space. So it's right here now. And it now has applied the change to the VPK. So now that we have it um, updated, you're going to need to open up Workshop Manager again. So Left for Dead. Uh, to authoring tools workshop manager you're gonna select the um, mod that you made the bitches ain't, or the, whatever yours is called and you're gonna select this pencil tool which is uh, edit the existing add-on and it's, it should have all of your info that you put in before even the preview file and all that and right now it has this uh, what you want to do is basically browse again and um, find that VPK folder on your desktop and just select open and it updates it. Um, and then also while you're here, you can change the visibility to public if you're happy with it. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Here it asks you for any um, cha um, changes that you made. So if you wanna leave a short description and I'll just put um, added some dead air. Well, people won't really know what I'm saying. Just the uh, revised the audio just a bit. So it doesn't it doesn't really matter what I say, but since it's the first time anyone's gonna see it, really, I'll go ahead and um, accept the terms and then press upload, and then it'll automatically update it on um, Steam Workshop. It'll now be public to um, everyone. And um, the one last way I'll show you how you can change the visibility, you can actually do it right within your Steam client. So while we're waiting for that to upload or update, um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So you're gonna go back to your library and go to your game, uh, browse the workshop, and then go to your workshop files. See right now it still says it's um it's hidden. Um so if you wanted to change it, you can actually change it from here too. Just uh change visibility. These are the owner controls, and you can select friends only or public, whatever you want, but you can go ahead and change it to public. I'm not going to because it looks like it just finished updating. And now if I do this all over again, browse the workshop. You see that it's downloading something right now or just completed. It's the me updating my mod. So it autom Steam act automatically updates your your whole um, um, the add-on itself. So <clears throat> um, let's see. It was your workshop files. Go here. And now it should say public. See, I don't, I don't have that message anymore. And the visibility is set to public. So... And look, it even has your change notes here. Uh, revised audio just a bit. So now my mod is on Workshop and it's public. And um, of course, if you guys like this add-on I just created for you, go ahead and subscribe to it. You can just search for uh, Bitches Ain't Shit um, end credits. Or just look for my um, Steam ID on Workshop and you'll find all of my files or my um, add-ons that I made. Some, some of these are, are still in beta i'm not fin finished with them so you'll only find like these three here um but other than that that's pretty much it guys um so you've made your mod you guys know how to do it uh i hope this was helpful if you have any questions go ahead you can just leave a comment uh with the question or you can even um you know maybe private message me uh through my youtube channel or um on steam um and you can also leave comments in my um my add-on section because um, I get comments there all the time uh, as well. But that's pretty much it. So um, I hope to see uh, lots of mods from you guys. And I look forward to seeing what we put out on Steam. So, all right. See you later.